it is, the brand new Crane 3S. It's an upgrade from the previous model Crane 3 Lab and today I'm gonna go over some of the features of this gimbal as well as tell you about my experience using it. Let's start out with the build quality. I think this is by far the most solid product Zion has ever made because this gimbal is made out of metal, thus also making it the heaviest gimbal Zion has ever made. Seriously, this thing is solid, feels like you've got a futuristic weapon in your hands or something. The maximum payload for this gimbal is 6.5 kilograms. Yeah, not kidding, 6.5 kilograms. I even managed to balance an Ursa Mini 4.6K with Sigma 18 to 35 lens on it. Like, look at this. That was so hard to hold. Never again. Okay, I think that's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> I am so not used to holding these kind of setups. I'm used to my Sony Alpha 6500 and we bless, okay? You won't have to worry about the counterweights anymore because Zion included a little thing called an arm extender, which means that your camera won't be hitting the back motor anymore. It's this little thing here and it takes not more than five minutes to install, honestly. Now, I know this gimbal looks kind of massive and uh, when you're looking at it, you kind of think there is no way I'm going to be able to fit it in any bags. Well, Zion came up with this genius idea. Instead of just being able to remove the little tripod legs, you can also remove the handle and you do not have to unscrew anything all you gotta do is open this latch here then press the button here and boom now I know this thing is still kind of massive but I can even put it in my low pro tactic 450 bag so I mean that's really cool because with the previous crane 3 lap since you couldn't remove the handle I was not able to put it in any bags with this one I can actually put it in some bags so that's pretty cool although I would personally still use a different bag to travel around with this hopefully it's in focus well as you can see with the batteries it still uses the same batteries three batteries 12 hours of battery life that is good that's a lot of word battery <laughs> Now the next thing which shocked me, which for me it's just not relevant at all, right? But it's the fact that this gimbal has nine freaking mounts. Crane 3 Lab had three mounts and that was more than enough. This one has nine. This has mounts everywhere. Like, I don't think I can even count nine mounts. Jesus Christ. I cannot wait to see a video where one guy just rigs this thing in a way that he takes up all the nine mounts like i want to see how badass this thing will look right off the bat the motors feel very strong seriously balancing the camera is very easy and we tried putting on the canon c100 mark ii and could balance it under 30 seconds it's that easy at first when we tried to get some shots we were getting shaky results but that was because we had forgotten to set the motor strengths to medium or on high so don't make the same mistakes as we did and check the gimbal settings before shooting a lot of people make this mistake afterwards we were getting very smooth shots as you can see here and it was just a pleasure to work with except for the fact that my arms almost fell off after each shot but you know as many of you already know one of the biggest weaknesses the gimbal has is when you have the gimbal tilted up it doesn't really pan well at the same time but with this gimbal we did not experience any issues i know a lot of you will be asking about the focus and zoom control image transmitter but unfortunately i am not interested in those things because i am a travel filmmaker and those extra accessories would just slow me down and I would probably miss a lot of shots while trying to figure out how all of them work but in the conclusion honestly I don't see myself using this gimbal because come on you really expect me to put my Sony Alpha 6500 on this beast nah but the good thing is if I will ever get a cinema camera I won't have to worry about purchasing big gimbals and rigs because that costs a lot of money and since this gimbal can even handle an Ursa Mini 4.6k I think I would be good for many years to come due to the fact that cinema cameras are getting smaller and more modular day by day hopefully you guys found some value in this video if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section below and stay safe all right peace out